All right, the international window is over and we are back to serving you the very best in the world of football. We are not the only ones back, of course. The special one, Oso Murillo, is back to the EPL. And of course, we are ready for all the troubles that are associated with the man himself. Hello and welcome to Corner Kick on Gusto TV. I am yours in sport on Mini, Johnny Mandel is my name. They call me the Midfield Maestro and I'm always on jersey number 10. Yes, as usual. This week, we'll give you a lowdown of what you expect as far as the uh, top leagues in Europe are concerned. I'm not alone in the house. The usual suspect is here, the blackest of them all. <laughs> Sheyi. How are you doing? I can't believe my day is here. I'm fine. You're chopping you? up, bro. All right, so uh, Sheyi, without our further ado, we'll go straight to the business of the weekend. <laughs> Manchester City will be welcoming uh, Chelsea, Chelsea right? after yeah. they were bruised. Uh, last time out by, by one, right? By uh, Liverpool. By Liverpool, yes. yes. Okay, so City, Chelsea, mm -hmm. Adiet, they had this uh, weekend on Saturday. Um, I expect um, you know a firepower match, mm. and I also expect uh, Chelsea to come with all fire, you know, all with all guns blazing. Okay. Man City have not really, really been consistent this season. They've lost three matches already. Wow. Last season they lost only four in 38 matches. Mm. But right now in about 14, 15 matches they've lost three already. Uh. So Chelsea going to the you know to the Etihad. They might feel that okay, maybe just like Wolves, mm -hmm. they have a chance All right. to defeat City at the at Etihad. Man City, um, as usual, they're at home. They should be able to get something from Chelsea. Okay. But Chelsea this season have really, really improved, mm -hmm. and I believe that with the current group of players they have, and then with Young the coach, players, actually. yes, with the coach um, uh, Frank, Frank Lampard, Lampard is the manager should be able of the to month. get something. Yes. yes. So it's really done well for them. It's okay. brought back confidence. Man City should watch out, and then with Aguero. It is. You know, Aguero has not really, really been doing well this season. But then, if Aguero comes to the party, okay. he should get something from this match. A All win right. for me. All right, a win for you. I was yes. just going to put you on the spot and ask you whether <laughs> it will be a win. Or yeah, a win for Man City. All right, so uh, we'll leave the EPL and uh, straight away to France, where uh, PSG, of course, will be entertaining Lille Metropole. Yes. And uh, right now, as it is, Victor Osimhen has been doing wonders for, yes. for Lille since he moved from uh, the Belgian League mm -hmm. to the French League, of course. Uh, but then, uh, what do you expect of this game? I mean, looking at PSG and well, how they've been Victor all season Simen long. Victor or no Victor Osimhen. <laughs> Okay. This is an acid test for him. Oh, okay. Like, like he's going to the Park the Princess Stadium yes. to face, you the know, PSG, PSG side. side. Almighty. Well, PSG this season have not really, really. They've lost three already this season as well. Okay. You know, just like Man City. Uh, you know, you the, know, the French league is not so competitive well. Yes, like but losing to the guys, to the you know the smaller guys, you know, is you know, and they've lost at home this season as well. You, you, you know, you, right, so right, right, right. PSG. Playing against Lille, Lille came second last season. Lille also have not really, really been convincing this season. Okay. But PSG last seven matches they've been, you know, scoring freely. They've been scoring goals, won five out of seven, you know, in the last seven matches. And I think that with the, you know, crop of players that they have, so playing at home against a Lille side who came second last season but are not consistent. Okay. This season PSG should, you know, um, with all the array of stars, should get something from this match. You know, I'm most likely a win. Oh. Well, when you said get something, I was thinking yeah. you were going to say well, that they, for a draw. they should actually win this match <laughs> in a right. PSG. So we won't, we won't dwell much on what will go down between uh, PSG, PSG and, and Leo yeah. come this weekend. But of course, I will move from France to Italy where... Uh, it's a big uh, one in Italy again. A big, a big one. one. A big but one. I fear for one particular side and that is Milan. It's Why? Milan. They're playing at well, home. Come well, on. It doesn't matter. Well, I mean, Pioli... The game of football right now as it is, you really cannot well, tell exactly well, what the pendulum will Yes, well the truth is Pioli has not been doing fantastically well with Milan. Okay. With Carlo Ancelotti also a seventh on the table, Napoli. Well, that's a super so, for you. Yes, but Napoli, you know, for a team, okay. you'd expect that they would either be competing with Juventus at the top of the table or at least maybe second. Well, if you look at the state Napoli are at yes. the moment and then you look and at there's the also side. there's also talks about, oh, the president, you know, fighting with Carlo Ancelotti, Ancelotti, yes. Ancelotti fighting with the players. So it's been you know, some sort of, you know, it's been a topsy turvy season for them. Okay. And I believe that, um, you know, going to, you know, the Giuseppe Miyaza Stadium, you know, in Milan, Milan to face AC Milan, Napoli should be careful. Okay. Pioli could actually assemble some, you know, some, some, he could assemble something to upset Napoli. I think if Milan win, it will be, an, it will be an upset. Well, yes. well, yes, I agree with you. Yes. It will so, be an upset. I mean, yes. looking at the state of the team so at the moment. Napoli, so, Napoli should be careful, okay. you know, of the underdogs, who, you know, which is Milan this time around. Milan right. playing at home are the underdogs against a Napoli side, lacking in confidence as well. But I believe that this match will end in a draw. Morio goes back to West Ham. Yes, yes. This exactly. Weekend. His first match in charge of His first team. match in charge of Tottenham Hotspur, ah. traveling to West Ham, you know. I don't know, but I feel that Morio 
Well, uh, should get something from this match. Well, she... I think the new coach syndrome, okay, would work this time around. Okay, she... so I believe that Tottenham Hotspur uh, <laughs> would win this match against West Ham. Okay, I'll tell you something. Yeah. When you say uh, 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 Tottenham would get something out of this game, yeah. every team would get something get, out of this game. Is it that they get, they get a draw, draw or they get a win, or they get a loss? You get so most yes. definitely they will get something out of this season. Well, out mm -hmm. of this game, yes. Uh, but Mourinho has Mourinho has that you know. Um, uh, super, you know, it human. happens to everybody. Yes. Every, there's every, a new every coach, manager, a new there's manager. A new coach syndrome, a new manager syndrome. Yes. So, West Ham should be careful. West Ham, I expect that they would want to also, and they are aware of the new manager syndrome, okay. they would want to play as much as possible. But I also think that Moriho, you know, taking his troops down, you know, to West Ham, you know, London, you know, yes. it's, it's, it's a London derby. Yeah, of course. So, right now, I believe that Moriho would actually get a first win in his first match in charge. So, uh, Shei, before we go, uh, yes. of course, the man behind the, behind the uh, camera. Well, yes, yes the, um, the best guide uh, for today, right? Yes. Best guide for today. So, guys, the best guide for this weekend uh, for you to play. We've got Man City, Chelsea, over 2.5 goals. Milan, Napoli, both okay. teams to score. All right. Atalanta, Juventus, Atalanta win or draw. That's a surprise one there. Oh, okay. Fortuna, Disorder versus uh, Bayern. Uh, Bayern to win. All Dortmund, right. Paderborn. Dortmund win both halves. Right. Leganes versus Barcelona. Barcelona to win. Madrid versus Sociedad. Over 2.5 goals. Everton Norwich. Everton win any half. Senetien versus Montpellier. Senetien win or draw. And finally, AS Roma versus Brescia. Over 1.5 goals scored. All right. So the bad guide for this weekend. The games coming down. Some of the games coming down uh, yes. that will be going down this, this weekend. weekend. Yes. So uh, of course, as Sheyi has given you, so shall it be. Well, I Can expect... put your money <laughs> where your mouth is. Of course, uh, uh, Ile Somi, you're watching me. Ebube, you're watching me. Yes, uh, Ayo, you're watching me. Jeff, you're watching me. All of you, yes, watching me right home, uh, right from the comfort of your home. I'll say, yes, put your money where your, your mouth, mouth is. is. Of course, that's the show this weekend. We'll make a return, of course, next week. Uh, same time, same station. God willing, uh, this is uh, Konaki Kongusto TV. Thanks for watching. Bye for now. God bless.